after many years, Shalewa ruled beside the king as his favorite wife and the queen of all the queens. This was after the first crown queen of all queens, Funke, ran mad and disappeared into the forest, leaving her newborn son, Deji, with Shalewa. Shalewa, who was now the current queen of all queens, took care of Funke's son, Deji, as well as her own son, Biodun. The king banned everyone in the village from speaking about his fifth wife, Funke, and nobody dared to defile the king's orders. Funke's son, Deji, grew up knowing Shalewa as his mother, as no one dared to tell him that his biological mother, Funke, was mad somewhere in the forest. No one knew if Funke was dead or alive, as everything was left to fate. Shalewa became well respected amongst the king's wives, and the king's love for her grew over the years. No one dared to call her ugly anymore, as she was kind and good to everyone, including her fellow wives. One day, this was 16 years later, Deji had a dream where a strange woman was beckoning at him, calling him her son whilst he was walking beside Shalewa. Deji woke up and this dream disturbed him greatly, but he kept it to himself. Not long after, the king became terribly ill and talks of his successor began to prop up. The elders began to hold meetings with the king to ascertain who would take over the throne from him. Deji and Shalewa's son, Biodun, grew up as brothers and were very close. They always had each other's backs and their bond was strong. Rumors began to make the rounds in the palace that Deji will soon be crowned king as he was the first son of the king. Soon, many realized that it was not as simple as it seemed as the tradition of the village forbids a crowned king from having any affiliations with one who is considered incomplete. Deji was still unaware that his mother was mad in the forest, as the only mother he had known all his life was Shalewa. This was a difficult position for the king, as time had now come for the king to tell Deji the truth about his mother and how his mother's condition will likely affect his chances of succeeding him as king. The king was now growing weaker as his sickness was getting worse. He sent his guard to send for his son Deji because he believed he did not have much time left. When Deji arrived the king's room, the king sat him down and began to tell him all about his biological mother, Funke, and how she ran mad on the day she gave birth to him. Deji was in so much shock as his dream of the other night now began to make more sense. The king now went on to tell Deji the implications of his mother's condition on his chances of succeeding the throne. The king told Deji that Deji could only become king if he renounced his mother. What this means is that once Deji becomes king, he would never be able to come face to face with his mother, especially as she is mad. The king went on to tell Deji that their tradition forbids a king to come in contact with one who is considered incomplete, as such contact was considered a taboo. The king then gave Deji the option to choose between his mother 
and being the next king. Deji, without hesitation, chose his mother and notified the king of his decision to go into the forest the next day in search of his mother. The king was in complete shock but granted Deji his wish and the next morning Deji set out for the forest in search of his mother. The king then notified the chiefs of the village of Deji's decision to forfeit the throne for his mother and plans then began to crown the king's second son, Biodun, as the next king of the village. The news got to Shalewa and she was excited but worried at the same time. She was worried of how Deji was feeling and also as he was alone in the forest. She prayed for his protection and hoped he found his mother, Funke. It has now been weeks and the day for the coronation has now arrived. The traditional rites have all been performed and time had now come for the king to crown his successor, Biodun, to seal the coronation when suddenly everyone heard a scream. Stop the coronation! Stop the coronation! It was Deji, running and panting towards the king. Everywhere was now silent as everyone was eager to hear what Deji had to say. Has he changed his mind? murmured some people in the crowd, who were all eager to know why Deji stops the coronation ceremony. I am the rightful king, father, said Deji, and his father, the king, asked him if he was no longer waiving his right to be king. The king reminded Deji that if he became king, he would have nothing to do with his mother all his life because she was a mad woman and incomplete according to their tradition. Deji then replied the king, that this would not be a problem as his mother's condition would no longer be a hindrance to his succession. The king seemed confused as he did not understand what Deji meant by that statement. Immediately, Funke emerged from the forest and everyone was in shock. She was no longer mad and everyone wondered where she had been for almost 18 years. Funke then knelt down before the king and apologized for all her wrongdoings. She also pleaded with Shalewa for her forgiveness and begged the village elders to also forgive her. Funke had been mad for almost 18 years and just gained her sanity after she came face to face with her son in the forest. Everyone was touched by Funke's sincere apology and the king went on to declare that Deji be made king as there was nothing stopping him from taking his place as the rightful successor and king. Deji was then crowned king and this change of events did not affect his relationship with his brother, Biodun, as they became even closer. Shalewa and Funke also became friends, as Funke was extremely grateful to Shalewa for taking good care of Deji and also treating him like her own son. She saw that Shalewa was a good woman, and regretted all the terrible things she did to her in the past. Not long after the coronation, the king died. The lesson to be learned from this story is that it is always good to forgive, as forgiveness brings with it peace of mind. I hope you enjoyed the story. Please like, subscribe and leave a comment. It helps us grow our channel. I'll see you in our next story. Bye.